Bye. Bye, Joffy. Bye, bye, bye. Someone seems a bit jealous for the goodbye. <laughs> bye, bye, Bella. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, it's afternoon. It's been one of those days, but happy Friday. Last week, we hanged out with Ashley and Heidi, and we went to the movies, but we didn't really get to hang out with them because that's what happens at the movies. So that's our plans for tonight. We're gonna go down there. I think Heidi's gonna cook us some yummy dinner, which we are excited for. And yeah, we should just be able to chill with them and have a good Friday night. This little cat here pretty much sums up how I've been feeling today. Hello. Hello. No, I'll leave you alone. I walked into the chill room, put my coffee down. Next minute, Jess was drinking it. I lost my coffee. Ah, round two. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> By the way, can we all appreciate how cute Jess's little hairdo is today? Aw, thank you. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, so the reason today has been one of those days is I got a bit burnt out today. This week has been back to back, lost vlogs, plus on top of that we've been working with a lot of companies that have been wanting footage for their channels and uh, I'm not, not complaining what we get to do every day, it's incredible, but sometimes it just gets to you and I've been burnt out on top of the cold I've been fighting this whole week, which seems to only appear at night times. It hits like seven o'clock and I just start dry coughing. I don't know why. I don't know why, Jess. I think I need to get some cough medicine or something. I also know why you're feeling um, drained. Why? Because you're now not used to having a job where you don't like go in and then leave. You know what I mean? You're always on. Always on, that's true. You need to true. find time where you just don't do anything. Yeah. Like what I do. You know when I just lounge around? It's like for a good reason. <laughs> I think I need to just maybe do a 9 till 5, like switch over at 5, but I mean it's like 5.30 and I'm just switching off so... I think we should go to Ashley and Heidi's. Yeah. Does that sound good? You need to find a good balance in life, Stephen. I'm going to be your life coach. Okay. So I'm waiting for Jess to just quickly finish up making the latest video live. And I was looking at our terrible bookcase and this little book here, which you might not think is anything, but it's so random the things that we hang on to over our life. Like this book, Quick Story, was given to me for like my sixth or seventh birthday. So this book is like probably 20 years old from my pre-primary, no, no, would that be pre-primary? Primary school crush. And I remember her coming to my birthday and she gave me this present and it was just big. So it looked awesome. And I don't know why I've hung onto the book, but the thing is I've never actually read it. And I don't know why we still have it. Hi guys, forgot to say hello today. We're off now. Guys, Steve and I have just been having a conversation about vegetables. Riveting. <laughs> Do you guys agree that avocados would be the celebrity of the vegetable world? Don't please, you think? Please explain. I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like avocados just seem like that is up there in the world. They're, They're celebrity. There. Everyone wants them. They're I expensive. Don't. I don't want avocados. I know you don't. Would you still see them as a celebrity vegetable? Or would it be the celebrity fruit? I'm thinking mangoes. I don't know how to explain it, but avocados and mangoes are the celebrity fruit and veg of the world. You know, they're the Brad and Angelina of the fruit and veg world. Um, I feel like avo would be the Kim K of the vegetable world. Australian summers, you can still come outside and enjoy dinner. Very nice on, Are they? Yeah. Oh, this looks so good. This is why we come. <laughs> we enjoy eating something that's just not veggies and rice. Yeah, we always say Heidi's the best cook. She is. How are you guys doing today? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Heidi is the best cook. The expectation is so high. <laughs> <laughs> can we do just like wife swap for one week? <laughs> and then like we can Done. cook. <laughs> um, we've just been talking about making a murderer, which we haven't found anyone yet that's talked about the show, but Heidi's finished it, so we like can't talk about it too much, otherwise she's gonna spoil it for us. We're only up to episode five. Episode five, and it's been really good the entire time. You think the show is good? Like, is it worth people watching? Oh, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> 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 Take over two viewers. Um, <laughs> best show, but no one write any spoilers in the comments. Yeah, Steve thank you. <laughs> yeah, maybe by the time this goes live, because we're so behind with the license mm. stuff, we might have finished. All right, let's move these away. Ashley's <laughs> sister just got back from Japan, and, and she's got chocolate, and I assume it's white chocolate. Can I try one? Do you reckon it's just white chocolate or do you reckon it's flavoured or something? I don't know. Show him, it's a snowman. Yeah, show him the snowman. Oh. It's, <laughs> it's cute. It's a snowman. He ate his head. 
just white chocolate. Oh, Do you like it? Crazy. Yeah, it's good. It tastes like Japanese? Yeah, very Japanese for white chocolate. It's just normal white chocolate. All right, so of course we're playing another board game. This night we are playing Articulate. It's one of Heidi's faves. And we're going to beat them. <laughs> Who won last time? You! Oh, Ashley! Oh, so Ashley's got the point! Yeah. <laughs> and it's a team game, so Stevie, you better not let down my team! So we have to like, get a word enough to try explain the word without saying what the name is, and then Jess has to try guess it. Oh, I feel like we're already gonna lose by the way you explained how that game works. <laughs> <laughs> I just got rejected, bro. <laughs> they won again! Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're another round, we have yeah. to play another round. It's such a fun game. All right, we've pretty much come. It is a draw. Whoever gets this wins. Wins the competition. We need to do this, Jess. We need to do it. Everyone ordered this thing that seems like a really Lossa. Awesome Duck. Woo! We won! We won! There you go. Because you still have to do your round. No, but then we won the. When we got the. We get to point. move one forward, don't we? Oh, do. No, because how are we ever going to win then? You have to get it. You have to get it on your turn. Oh. Okay. It's not the bird you hate. So just get okay. that bird out of your mind, okay? Wouldn't you know what up. it is. It's the most annoying Magpie. Australian Crow. boy. Seagull! Willy Wagtail! No, it like makes Crow. a lot of noise. Magpie? Magpie. No. Cockatoo? Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! We just played my favorite board game of all time, which is Settlers of Catan, and I won. Which means, are we like tally, like tie? Uh, yeah. Because you've won, yeah. won two games, and I've won two games. Yes. So tie. I've won <laughs> one game. One game. You only won that one game because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us, guys. Bye. Bye. Night night. Yeah. Have a good weekend. You too. <laughs> You may think we're giant losers who love board games way too much, but it's literally like my favorite thing to do. As well as Steven, and as well as our friends, and as well as my brothers. So it kind of, it all just works, doesn't it, Stevie? Mm -hmm. Steven's feeling really sick. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you go out and have like a really hard, crazy night of board games, it makes your sickness even worse. Mm -hmm. You know how it is. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it is past midnight. I'm ending the vlog here. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!